What is the role of C4 in both highlighting the importance of forests and in safeguarding the rights and livelihoods of people who live in the forests? What do you see and where is C4 headed? Guarding the, the values of the natural resource as well as, as uh, making sure that uh, the, the, the livelihoods of uh, people are uh, looked after, taken care of and, and uh, opportunities are, are there. And, and then ultimately to, to uh, serve all that, that the governance of, of uh, forest natural resources and also uh, law and order at large is, is serving these purposes. I think we, we have a very broad mm -hmm. playing field as, as C4 and we work with forestry in the broadest possible manner to, to cover this full range of, of, of uh, subjects that I, that I mentioned. It's really exciting because forestry, I think, will be one of the cornerstones in the new development, development and climate frameworks that we will see materializing in 2015. And, and forestry is really relevant across the board in, in that framework. Yeah. And I think, you know, as a research organization, being able to tell, you know, put in place research that looks at, you know, what policy process? What policies lead to positive outcomes? What policies, you know, lead to to to, to failures to, to achieve those outcomes? What is it about policy processes that, that lead to to successful outcomes of the policy process? Um, what measures on the ground actually achieve uh, progress? What are the benchmarks? What are the baselines? And what sort of progress can be achieved? And how can we we recognize and manage these trade-offs? There are going to be emerging issues. As, as, as uh, consumption patterns change, as, as population grows, as population, as where populations and households live and earn their livings and how they organize their, their livelihoods, as that changes, it's gonna be huge issues that, that, that come up that the society's gonna need to face. And, and a research organization like C4 is there to begin to help put in place the evidence so that people can make, the policymakers can make informed decisions, that land managers can make informed decisions and, and be more sure of the outcome of, of what they're trying to, to put, the, the, the policies and measures they're putting in place to achieving their objectives.